Hey guys, it's Warren. I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and open the register inside of Rubble. What you do is, this is the login screen. Go ahead and enter your PIN number. And once you log in, what you'll see is you'll see uh, a till list that pops up immediately for you. So in this till list, uh, this is where you'll enter in the amounts that you'll be counting pretty soon. Scroll down first at the very bottom of this list. This will give you the option to open the cash register and open the drawer. So go ahead and click open the drawer. And then once you open the drawer, what you'll do is you'll start counting out exactly what you have inside the drawer. Um, the sum total that's shown, shown at the top is only telling you what the preset amount should be. This will vary from store to store. Um, so I'll go ahead here and start entering in um, an amount. Uh, so I've got 25 in ones. Um, I've got 10 $5 bills. A key note here, and just one thing to mention, on the side, you see where it says quantity? The system is going to calculate the amount for you. So all you have to do is enter in the number of that denomination that you have or the number of ones you have versus the amount. So uh, as you can see where we have the uh, we had 10 ones, excuse me, 25 ones. That's actually 25 ones. And then where we had the um, the other amount shown, that's actually the number that you physically counted where you can see right now for the quarters. That means I have four quarters, not that's actually $4, uh, just to be clear. So again, you're entering the quantity that you count. The system will give you a total at the top. So as you can see here, I'm going through, I've entered in all the quantities that I have. I'm just doing a little check uh, just to make sure my numbers are right. Here I am entering in 100. So as you see, I have 100 pennies, which equals a dollar. And I have all of that information already listed. So I'm just reviewing this. I'm just looking over my count, make sure everything is correct. And as I have that, um, I'm just reviewing to see if I have any other discrepancy, everything is filled out properly. You don't have to put zeros for anything that has a quantity. You just have to make sure that the amount that you have is that amount. Once you're done with this, all you'll do is you'll go ahead and you'll press set, and then that will set the till for this day. So, um, as you can see here again, I'm just scrolling through right now just to see exactly uh, what I have as far as my numbers are concerned. One quick note, um, if permitted by your manager and if permitted by your leadership, you can go ahead and you can enter the coins where it says other total instead of entering the specific number of coins you have. But for the dollars, and I'm sorry, for the bills, you absolutely want to count exactly what you have in bills for sure, regardless of the circumstances. Um, so as you'll see in this next screen, after I'm done with this, after I'm ready to hit set and you press set, this will ask you who is going to be assigned to this till or who has made this count. Um, and you'll see in this next screen, I'm gonna make sure just to select myself. You should always, always, always select yourself um, in this instance, as you can see here, assigned to. Um, you should not do this under anyone else's name. You should specifically do this under your name as a person who's making this count. Um, as you can see, I'm just toggling between my name and then the tester name. Um, and then once you're done with this, uh, you'll just press done. And then it's automatically going to let you know that your till was set on that date at that particular time. And you're good to go. So that's it. That's all you need to do to open the register.